Scorpions are assholes. They don't care about you, they don't care about your mum, they will do anything possible to ruin your life. So here's how to harvest them for parts and sell them for at least 8,000 bells a piece. Basically, this will be a guide on how to DIY your own Scorpion Island in April for Southern Hemisphere or for October in the Northern Hemisphere. There's a few factors that will change in terms of different spawns in different months, different bugs will affect this. So this is applying specifically April Southern Hemisphere, October Northern Hemisphere. Keep in mind Southern Hemisphere squad, this is your last month to harvest scorpions. So take advantage of this and just nut up, we can do it, get through it, catch all these scorpions and make bank. For Northern Hemisphere, you'll be having scorpions starting in May, but there may be different requirements depending on the different months with, you know, butterflies and different things spawning. So the best tips for finding your optimal scorpion DIY island is going to be islands that don't have water bugs. Water bugs are going to slow your life down. They're going to slow down the scorpion spawns because you can't scare them away effectively. The number one thing you want for scorpion island DIY to make it work amazingly is rain. Rain is the number, number one thing you want to do because rain means no cricket spawns, no bell cricket it spawns none of that jazz these bugs are incredibly hard to get to despawn and chase them away so i won't even try to make a scorpion island unless i land on an island with rain after 7 p.m trust me save your time it's not worth it just go for rain i've definitely noticed more rainy uh, islands in april as well i'm guessing because of autumn season so time to prep the island, pluck all your flowers, chop all your trees. The stumps didn't really seem to matter, especially in the rain, but remove them so you can see these scorpions. These monsters will hide anywhere. Once you've completed this, the only thing that should be spawning in is wharf roaches and scorpions. Basically, scare away the wharf roaches and all you're left with is scorpions. And I mean, honestly, you'd probably be getting enough spawns anyway, even without scaring the roaches. These guys just spawn for days. I recommend digging yourself some boundary lines as well. This really served to help just kind of create a bit of a barrier between, between me and the scorpion, made me feel a little bit safer. And I discovered the most effective way to get these guys and not get stung in the ass is to aggro them from behind the line. Stand behind the hole, slap your net down and aggro them. They'll go absolutely stupid. And then you can get frustrated at the BS timing of trying to hit these things. Oh my God, it's like one of those rigged freaking stacker arcade games. Finally, keep in mind, scorpions have like no rules. Uh, think you're safe on the beach? No. Think you're safe scaring away war for it, no sun. Wait, 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 wait. I totally saw one go behind this cliff. Come out. Oh, okay, now I can't even see you. Like... <sighs> Excuse me! You are not safe anywhere, so get used to this. At least fainting uh, respawns like five scorpions at a time, so there is that. I noticed that scorpions can fall from the top level, but if you aggro them, they will despawn, which is, you know, kind of nice so that they don't, like, you know, stab you in the head, which is pretty good. But keep in mind they can drop down to the bottom level, with varying effects. My top tips are to do the creep. With your net equipped, hold down A so you kind of get like prepped in this stance and take a few baby steps and stop. Take a few baby steps and then stop. You're almost always closer than what you think as well. So thankfully the hitbox of the net is pretty generous. I've noticed the star net as well seems to be pretty BS with how far it can reach for the scorpions. Basically, if you collide with one pixel, you seem to catch it. So definitely uh, experiment with your kind of distance and what net you are using because absolutely more often than not, you're closer than what you think. So don't get too close and definitely do not aggro two at one time. This will absolutely decimate you. You'll catch the first one and the second one will stab you in the bum. So I totally recommend trying, if you've got both of them aggroed by mistake, just kind of stay still, let one of them de-aggro and walk away, disengage, let it kind of walk a bit further and then you can catch the first and then the second one easily. Next top tip is to take a moment to cry from the stress and get back out there. Where are you going, mate? You just going for, just going for a little swim or something, are you? Yoink. Oh, okay, there's two of you. What? Hello. Yoink. And double yoink. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Yeah. Oh, come on. Yes, thank you. Winner. Take a moment to think of happier times. And then get back out there. Hey. Come here. Yoink. Excuse me. 
Triple stack. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, whatever, man. Oh, thank God, it's time to leave. Get me out of here. Just say, oi, you. Go away. Just, just let's walk away. Le walk, walk away. Walk away. Said. Walk away, mate. Uh, also, yeah, you can uh, open up your your uh, phone to not slap your, your net down to aggro them. Oh, thank God, Wilbur, get me out of here. Sweet sanctuary. Take a moment to just uh, decompress, have a moment, and then uh, so let's sell these boys for a sweet profit. I'm not going to actually sell to Timmy and Tommy. I'm going to wait till Flick is in town to get way more profit, but here is what you would get if you just wanted to, you know, cut the time, save your storage, and sell directly to Timmy and Tommy. So the twins want to give me about 300k bells, which is like, yeah, that's fine. But nah, I'm just going to decide, oh, this is why my storage is full. <laughs> I'm going to cram my storage with scorpions and save them for the next time Flick is in town because I'll be getting 1.5 times more for these bad boys. So closer to 450,000 bells instead. That's 150k more bells. So ruin your storage, uh, celebrate and rinse and repeat. If this video was helpful for you, please be sure to slap down a like or a subscribe. A subscribe a day keeps the scorpions away. Good luck on your own scorpion islands, guys. These things are vicious. I hope you don't get stabbed too many times. Have a wonderful, wonderful morning, noon, night, whatever time it is for you. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.